Trent made a decision to place the AEDs outside, uh, just understanding on a university campus, there are so many activities taking place outdoors and many times when indoor facilities aren't open. So thinking about students and for us in athletics, many activities taking place on our field, not only by students, but the local community when the athletic center might not be open. And when we found out and saw the examples of the outdoor AEDs that were available, um, it seemed like, you know, really a no-brainer for us that we would want those to be available. Um, just understanding how much more coverage and accessibility that provided. When we looked at placing AEDs outside on campus, there were some concerns about um, damage or vandalism taking place, um, but we've been really pleased with um, you know, the respect that people have shown to the AEDs, and I think also having them outside, people have really, they've become really visible to people, and uh, we've had a lot of really positive feedback on the units that are outdoors. So we had um, approximately seven AEDs on campus at the time and they were, there was no structured management program for them. So one of our main focuses was to determine where to locate, how many AEDs to um, purchase and where to locate them across campus. So we wanted to ensure that anywhere you were on campus you could get to an AED within three to five minutes. So we realized that on top of what was already existing, we needed an additional 26 new units um, to give coverage so that people could have access to them within those three to five minutes. And that, that also included ensuring that all of our security um, vehicles had an AED in the vehicle as well. The Athletics and Recreation Department has had to use an AED. In my 16 years with athletics, uh, we've used an AED twice. Um, and I think sometimes people think that AEDs are used just for older adults, um, but in this case, it was actually an older adult and a, and a student uh, who AEDs were used on. And I'm pleased to say in both cases, there was a successful outcome. So we're ensuring that they're always ready um, and able to be used by doing regular monthly inspections. So during the school year, our TUFERT team does. That's our, um, our student emergency response team. So they check them all once a month during the school year. And then during the summer months, um, our security and our parking team will check them. And we use the Ready for Action tool um, by Action First Aid and if at the beginning of the month we get a notification that they need to be inspected and if the inspection isn't done that month then we'll be notified again that the inspection has been missing. So it's, it's a great tool um, and so far we haven't missed any. They, they get inspected every month which is really exciting. It's a big change from our previous program.